Jackson County Health Department, Nutrition Education Coordinator Laura Marks, and WIC Coordinator Chelsea Schatz. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nice to have you here. And what great timing because March is National Nutrition Month. It is. So every year um, on the WIC program, we choose kind of a topic um, for National Nutrition Month. And this year's theme is Fuel for the Future. So just kind of talking about sustainability, um, how, can we, how we can help the environment as well as ourselves live longer. Oh, well, who's not for that? Mm -hmm. So uh, since St. Patrick's Day is uh, here, I wondered if uh, things like corned beef and cabbage, uh, bangers and mash, green beer, Guinness, <laughs> Irish car bombs, are there all those uh, healthy options for uh, St. Patrick's Day? Everything in moderation. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's a great answer. So we have, we, th we, we waste a lot of our fuel, don't we? We just throw it away. We do. Actually, um, I read a statistic by the FDA that says that food is the number one, um, I guess, component of the landfills in the area. Wow. That's pretty sad, but we all do it. We all do it, yeah. unfortunately. We, we, uh, I think one of the things we do uh, is we go grocery shopping hungry. <laughs> bad idea? Yeah, yeah, definitely a bad idea. <laughs> we overbuy and then it looks good when you're hungry and then not so good when you're full. Definitely. So if we're throwing food away, are we, are, are we too sensitive to the like the expiration dates, or uh, we're too hesitant to cut around the brown spots? Um, should we be keeping it longer? Not necessarily. I just think some families have good intentions, where maybe they you know make a plan to eat healthier, so they buy more fruits and vegetables, or buy maybe some new foods to them, and then if they're not ready to prepare those or aren't sure how to prepare those they go bad. Um, so sometimes it's just, you know, not, not knowing what to do with those new foods once you pick them out at the grocery store. Good point. We buy things we don't know how to prepare, maybe. And I think we've all done this, uh, especially like in June when the farmer's market is full of all kinds of things. We just buy, 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 buy. Mm -hmm. Gets home and goes to waste. Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, You've got some hints as to how we can eat healthier and preserve our fuel for the future. And one of those things is trying some, some new things. How do, how do you get something new into the diet? Well, one thing that is recommended is to try to cut back on um, meats, so red meats, and using more plant-based foods like beans, tofu, soybeans. <laughs> Have you ever tried anything like no, that? Tempe? I, even no matter how hungry I am, I would never buy that at the super. I would not buy tofu, <laughs> probably. <laughs> You'd be surprised. It's, I don't know. It, it, I, I've had it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of bland. <laughs> Depending on what you. What do you? Tr how do you? How would you use tofu? I like to actually blend my tofu mm. and make it into like a ricotta cheese for okay. pasta. Um, I also like to fry it. Um, like on the stove top and put it in stir fries. And with the flavor, it, d it really doesn't have much in the way of flavor, does it? No. So you can really. use sauces or marinades yeah. to flavor it, yeah. And it's, is it a protein? Is mm -hmm. it a protein? It's like mm -hmm. a bean, mm -hmm. so it's protein. Yes. Okay. And those, that's another category of foods you're recommending we introduce into our diet. Mm -hmm. What else besides beans? Beans. Um, legumes, so like lentils. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I like lentil soup. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Um, and then like peanut butter, nuts and seeds, those also have protein in them too. But mm -hmm. the main thing is cutting back on those meats um, for sustainability reasons and for your health. Yeah, because it takes a lot of grain and vegetables and water to raise meat. Mm -hmm. And that's does that count as the what we're wasting? Meat goes in the landfill too. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this March, there's not much local fresh produce. Are there things we should be doing because it's easier in July? So 
what can we be doing in March and April when really there's, there aren't farmers markets? And one thing too, when I mentioned, um, you know, fresh produce going bad is maybe when you're grocery shopping, purchase some fresh produce that you know you can use within, you know, a couple of days and then purchase some frozen or canned mm -hmm. foods um, so that you have those on hand when your produce, when you've used up your produce. Is there a difference between, let's take an example, peas, uh, frozen versus canned. Is there a difference? I know people think the taste is different and maybe you grew up with one or the other, but nutritionally, any difference? Nutritionally, not really. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to tell clients that with frozen vegetables, um, they're usually harvested at their peak mm -hmm. ripeness, I guess. And so mm -hmm. a lot of times they're at their best when you get them frozen. You know what we end up throwing out a lot of, um, and my friends are going to be surprised because I, I love bread, but we do we end up throwing out, there's just two of us in our household, mm -hmm. so half lo often mm -hmm. we end up, it goes bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any tips on, people need to, uh, they do make smaller loaves, mm -hmm. I guess we could do that, mm -hmm. but are there some other things we should be doing? Yeah, there's just two in my whole household too, so we have the mm -hmm. same issue. Um, and we don't eat bread every day. So we um, buy our bread and then we keep it in the freezer and when we need a piece out, we just take them out to thaw or we mm -hmm. put them in the microwave. And it stays good for a really long time in the freezer. The freezer it does. is your friend. Yeah, I agree. I, when we were growing up, we pros, my dad would buy like two or three loaves at once, two of them would go right in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's no difference. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're toasting the bread. It's, right. Uh, and you can do this same with, uh, fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. do your own freezing. Mm -hmm. And if you did want to purchase locally grown fruits and vegetables over the summer when they're in season um, and then freeze those, that's another great way to then continue having those, you know, locally grown fruits and vegetables throughout mm -hmm. the year. Are there things we can do? So let's say we buy blueberries. Um, instead of just throwing them in the refrigerator, are there some things we should do to keep, to extend their life? So there's a lot of ways actually that you can extend the life of um, your fresh produce. Mm -hmm. So with berries, um, when you get home, try to rinse them in water and vinegar, uh, like a mixture of water and vinegar. It helps reduce the mold. Does it taste, can you taste, will they taste vinegary? No, no, no not at all. Uh -huh. um, and then with potatoes and onions, things like that, it actually helps if when you get home, you take them out of the bags and put them into brown paper bags hmm. and store them in like a dark, cool space. Now, I've, uh, I've always believed that if you've got like one bad potato, if it's touching a good potato, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn that, but it's going to turn the whole bag bad. Is that true? Mm, sometimes, yes. Okay. What about green and uh, eyes of pot potatoes or they start sprouting? Is it then, do you have, are they salvageable? If they're green when you cut into them, um, they could be harsh to your body um, because that means that they've been exposed to chlorophyll in um, and that so if they're green you probably should toss them really? but I think the growth on them is fine mm -hmm. uh, bananas you can't eat them all at once but they get they get ripe all at once mm -hmm. <laughs> they sit there green uh, and uh, not sweet for but all of a sudden they're and, then they're too ripe. Mm -hmm. Any tricks on extending the life of bananas? Yeah, so um, when I get home from the grocery store, I actually take the bananas off one by one mm -hmm. because something scientifically, it causes, it helps them not to go ripe as quick. Huh. Um, and then if they do go ripe, then I just toss them in the freezer, cut them in half, and I use them for smoothies or oatmeal. Can you, you can freeze bananas too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys are going to be uh, sharing your knowledge at a couple of uh, story times with the Jackson District Library. Do you know where and when? We will be going on March 24th to Parma, and that will be at 3 o'clock. Um, and then March 25th, which is Saturday, that will be at 11 o'clock at Springport Library. Are you going to bring food? We're going to bring <laughs> snacks. We'll also do um, a little activity with the kiddos and read a story. All right. And any 
any tips that we can just uh, think about and take with us uh, to maybe extend our own lives with our fuel, um, a healthy eating habit? Hmm. I, like I said earlier, I just like to remember everything in moderation. Okay. I don't like to th say that good foods are good or bad or anything. All right, Chelsea, you have a tip? Um, just a tip because with the WIC program we see young families and young children. I think if parents start when their children are young and just talk about nutrition and talk about, you know, the different food groups and what benefit children, you know, what benefit their bodies the most, um, that's just a good way to, to help them in the future. That's awesome advice and if anyone needs more information about the WIC program, all the services, the health department offers. I know you'd love to hear from them. Yes. Great to see you. Thanks for coming in today. Thank, Thank you. you. Registered dietitians with us from the Jackson County Health Department during National Nutrition Month, Laura Marks and Chelsea Shantz.